Classic Tales, Arabian Nights. The Eldest Lady's Tale. The eldest lady began her story, revealing that the two black dogs they saw the previous night were her older sisters from the same father and mother. The two ladies with her were her younger sisters from a different mother. When their parents died, they left her and her maternal sister an equal amount of inheritance. Both her older sisters got married and traveled with their husbands, using their inheritance money, leaving her alone. After five years, her sisters returned in ragged clothing and poor appearance, nearly unrecognizable. Realizing they were her sisters, she invited them into her house, provided clean clothes, and shared some of her wealth with them so they could continue living comfortably. She learned that their husbands had squandered their money, and once it was all spent, abandoned them in a foreign land. Later, they decided to marry again, despite her warnings about their previous marriages. She provided them with dowries from her own money. Once again, their husbands mistreated them, taking everything and leaving them poor. They returned to her, promising to stay with her and help her. She accepted them back. Years later, she decided to try her fortune by selling her wares abroad. She procured a large ship and loaded her merchandise. She asked her sisters if they would stay or accompany her. They chose to go with her, not wanting to be separated. However, the captain made a mistake and the ship lost its way. After days at sea, they saw land and made their way there. They landed in a city unknown to them. The captain told her that she could try selling her merchandise there while he bought their provisions. If the fortune was not good, they could continue to sail away to their original destination. She decided to venture into the town, and upon closer inspection, she realized all the people were turned to black stone. She explored the palace and found the king in his throne, along with his courtiers, and the queen in her bedroom, still wearing their richly clothing, but turned to black stone. As it grew dark, she decided to stay until morning. That night, she heard someone reciting prayers and found a handsome young man praying. She approached him, and he told her his story. He was the son of the king of the kingdom, and his father was a Majin who worshipped fire, as did the entire kingdom. However, the old woman who took care of him secretly worshipped Allah and taught him to do the same. After the old woman died, he continued practicing the faith she taught him. One day, a loud voice like roaring thunder warned the kingdom to abandon their fire worship and return to Allah. The king ignored the warnings. On the third year, a bright light shone over the kingdom, turning everyone to black stone except him, who was praying at the time. The lady sympathized with him and persuaded him to leave with her, promising they would return to her home together. He agreed, tired of being alone. The next morning, they took treasures from the palace and returned to the ship, where her sisters were worried about her absence. They loaded the ship with the treasures. Her sisters, jealous of the handsome young man and the treasures, asked her plans for him. She said she would marry him if he was willing, and he agreed. That night, her jealous sisters threw her and the young man into the sea. The young man drowned, but she managed to cling to a plank and was washed ashore on an island. She survived by eating fruits and searching for a way out. One day, she saw a serpent being chased by a dragon and bitten by it. Feeling pity, she threw a stone at the dragon, killing it. The serpent then spread its wings and flew away. Tired, she fell asleep. When she awoke, she found herself in a strange place with a beautiful dark-skinned damsel and two black dogs beside her. The damsel revealed she was the serpent saved from the dragon 
and that both she and the dragon were genies and enemies. She had transported all her merchandise and items to her house. The damsel also turned her sisters into black dogs, knowing everything that had happened between them. However, she could not bring back the young man as he had already drowned. The damsel flew her and the two black dogs back to her house in Baghdad. The damsel warned her to punish her sisters with 300 strikes every day. If she failed, the damsel would return and turn her into a dog as well. Despite feeling pity for her sisters, she never missed a day of their punishment. After hearing her tale, the caliph turned to the second lady, the portress, and asked her for her story.